So the scene I'm going to read, so part of sort of winning Deborah's trust at a certain point was saying to her, I, she, so Deborah was a toddler when her mother died. She didn't remember her at all. All she knew was that she di her mother died when her mother was around 30. And that was really all she knew. No one talked about the cells. No one talked about her mother. Deborah just didn't know any of the story um, of any of this. And so one of the ways that I won her trust was to say, look, I'm not hiding anything from you. I think you and I both want the same thing. We really want to know who your mother was and what these cells did for science and what happened along the way. And so I don't know that. And so I said to her, you, know, you can come with me when I do my research. And I don't know that I actually thought she was going to take me up on it, but I didn't know Deborah very well. But so she and I end up traveling around the country, learning about Henrietta, learning about her mother's cells. And so this scene is the, really the first moment that it was a really important moment in our relationship. So it was the first moment that Deborah saw her mother's cells alive in the laboratory. So for those who don't know, HeLa cells is what they're called, which is an abbreviation for Henrietta's name. It's H-E for Henrietta, L-A for Lax, and they are immortal, which means they will just live forever um, in the laboratory. So the only thing you need to know, Kristoff is the name of the scientist whose, labs were, whose lab we're in, and Zakaria is Deborah's younger brother. Kristoff threw open the door to his lab with a sweeping ta-da motion and waved us inside. This is where we keep all the cells, he yelled, over a deafening mechanical hum that made Deborah's and Zakaria's he hearing aids squeal. Zakaria's hand shot up and tore his from his ear. Deborah adjusted the volume on hers, then walked past Kristoff into a room filled with wall-to-wall -wall white freezers, stacked one on top of the other, rumbling like a sea of washing machines in an industrial laundromat. She shot me a wide-eyed, terrified look. Kristoff pulled the handle of a white floor-to-ceiling freezer, and it opened with a hiss, releasing a cloud of steam into the room. Deborah screamed and jumped behind Zakaria, who stood expressionless, hands in his pockets. Don't worry, Kristoff yelled. It's not dangerous, it's just cold. They're not minus 20, like your freezers at home. They're minus 80. That's why when I open them, smoke comes out. He motioned for Deborah to come closer. It's all full of her cells, he said. Deborah loosened her grip on Zakaria and inched forward until the icy breeze hit her face and she stood staring at thousands of inch-tall plastic vials filled with red liquid. Oh, God, she gasped. I can't believe all that's my mother. Kristoff reached into the freezer, took out a vial, and pointed to the letters H-E-L-A written on its side. There are millions and millions of her cells in there, he said, maybe billions. You can keep them here forever, 50 years, 100 years, even more. Then you just thaw them out and they grow. He rocked the vial of HeLa cells back and forth in his hand as he started talking about how careful you have to be when you handle them. We have an extra room just for the cells, he said. That's important, because you don't want HeLa cells to contaminate other cultures in a lab. He explained how the HeLa contamination problem happened, then said, her cells cost millions of dollars in damage. Seems like a bit of poetic justice, doesn't it? Oh, my mama was just getting back at scientists for keeping all them secrets from the family. Deborah said, you don't mess with Henrietta. She'll sick Hilo on your ass. <laughs> Christoph reached into the freezer behind him, grabbed another vial of Hila cells, and held it out to Deborah, his eyes soft. She stood stunned for a moment, staring into his outstretched hand, then grabbed the vial and began rubbing it fast between her palms, like she was warming herself in winter. She's cold, Deborah said, cupping her hands and blowing onto the vial. Christoph motioned for us to follow him to the incubator where he warmed the cells, but Deborah didn't move. As Zakaria and Christoph walked away, she raised the vial and touched it to her lips. You're famous, she whispered. Just nobody knows it. So I will say that this is going to be turned into a movie yeah. produced by Oprah Winfrey, is that correct? And yeah. it will be on HBO. When is that coming out? Eh, that's a good question. Okay, when is that <laughs> work? 